Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, so that means it is a meal prep day. So if you wanna see what I meal prep for the week, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna prep is going to be my lunch, which is gonna be turkey meatloaf with some green beans and some red quinoa. Okay, so to start, these turkey meatloafs off I am going to take my veggies so here I have a half of a small onion I have three quarters of a cup of red bell pepper diced up I've got an ounce of spinach that I chopped up and one tablespoon of minced garlic so I'm gonna put that into a pan and saute that all up okay so also to go along with my meatloaf this week I'm gonna have some quinoa so while my vegetables are getting nice and soft I'm gonna go ahead and make the quinoa in there um, I'm going to be using this pre-washed and rinsed red quinoa I had in my pantry. I think I forgot to show you guys this in my grocery haul yesterday, but this was another one of my pantry items. So I'm going to do a half of a cup. I'm halving the recipe because I'm not going to be using very much. So I'm going to do a half of a cup of the quinoa to one cup of liquid, which I like to make quinoa with chicken broth or, or bone broth. So I have some chicken bone broth here and I'm going to be using that. That just adds a lot more flavor to your quinoa. So I'm going to put all that in this pan. Now we're going to bring this to a boil and then put the lid on there, turn it down and let it simmer for about 15 minutes until all the water is absorbed. Okay, so the vegetables are done sauteing, so I'm going to turn off the heat, let them cool down, and get the rest of the meatloaf going. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, of course, is going to be your ground turkey. I'm using 99% fat-free ground turkey, so this entire meatloaf is going to be zero smart points. So yummy, really good. Um, this is just the Foster Farms um, Simply Raised, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into my bowl. Okay, so now to my one pound of meatloaf, I'm going to add in one egg. And then here I have about a quarter of a zucchini that I grated. And this kind of helps keep the moisture in the meatloaf because whenever you're using 99% fat free, the moisture can be a little bit low on it. I'm also gonna add in a quarter cup of rolled oats. That just helps bind it together. And then I have some spices here, so I'm going to do, and I'm not, I don't ever measure my spices, you guys know, so I'm just going to do some onion powder. Uh, some Italian seasonings. Some garlic powder. And just a little bit of crushed red pepper. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way, by the way. And now my veggies are nice and cooled down, so I'm going to go ahead and add those to here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get this all mixed together. The best way to do it is with your hands, so just dive in. Okay, so I have my brownie pan here, and I'm going to just put distribute the meat throughout all this. I did spray it because this is the 99% fat-free turkey, so I don't want it to stick. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill up all of these um, little slots. Okay, so these are all ready to go. I'm going to put this into a 350 degree oven. I'm going to start it off with 20 minutes and see if they get done at that time. If you do a full loaf of this, it takes about an hour. So I'm figuring because of how small they are, maybe 20 minutes. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I used my meat thermometer, and so these are all ready to go. So 20 minutes was a perfect amount of time. So I'm going to let these cool a little bit, and then my quinoa is done, and let's assemble my lunch meal prep containers. Okay, so let's start assembling the meal preps. So I have some green beans here. I'm just going to put them in here frozen, um, because I will be microwaving this. So, Okay, so next up is the quinoa. I'm going to do a third of a cup of quinoa. And then I'm going to do two of the little mini meatloafs. So 
So there you go, there is the completed meal prep. This is zero smart points, this is zero smart points, and a third of a cup of quinoa is two smart points. So this is a two smart point meal prep. So the next thing that I prepped this week were some snack packs. So this is a vegetable hummus non bread snack pack. So let me show you how I put this together. Okay. So to assemble these little veggie packs, I have these new meal prep containers that I got off of Amazon. And I really wanted some three compartment containers, so I will have these linked down below. I mean, you guys know how much I love my non-dippers. So I'm gonna use three of these for three smart points. So I'm just gonna put three of these right there. And then I have some celery and some sugar snap peas and some carrots. So in this part, I'm just going to put these. And I'm gonna do three of these little um, snack packs because I have other snacks for the week as well. So this is just gonna be one of them. And I have some tahini in my pantry. I think I'm gonna try to make my own hummus next week. So let me know if you guys wanna see a hummus recipe. Um, so here is one of the finished snack packs. Okay, and all three of them are all done. So the next thing that I'm gonna meal prep is going to be some berry scones using the Kodiak pancake mix. So I'm excited to try this. This is a brand new recipe for me. So let's get into how you put this together. Okay, so to start these scones, we are going to first take our kind of liquid ingredients. We're going to take our egg. And I have a half of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I have a quarter cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. So we're gonna whisk that all together. Now this is not in the original recipe, but I'm gonna do a splash of vanilla extract. I feel like every baked good should have vanilla extract. That's just my opinion. Okay, so now for the dry ingredients, you need two cups of the Kodiak cake mix. I'm using the buttermilk Kodiak cake mix, so I have two cups of that. I have a half of a cup, cup of the stevia like baking blend, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna get that together, then I'm gonna go grab the butter. Okay, so you now you wanna take four tablespoons of butter. I'm using the, I can't believe it's not butter light. And then you're gonna put it in here, and if you guys have baked anything before with this type of thing, you know you just kind of mix it in with your fingers. If you have a pastry cutter, you can use that as well but you just kind of blend it in there with your fingers until you know, the whole mixture is just kind of these coarse crumbles. Okay, so now what you wanna do is add in your liquid. You just wanna kind of slowly add it in, mix, and then add in and mix some more until all your liquid and your dry is combined. Okay, so now for the berries, I just have some frozen blackberries, blueberries, raspberry, mixture here. So I'm going to put about a cup in there. And this dough is a little bit stickier than I remember scone dough being. Like I used to make scones all the time in the fall and I don't remember it being this sticky. So instead of, I used to just spread them all out and then cut them into little triangle shapes. But I think instead I'm going to go ahead and cook it in one big circle and then cut the scone shapes after they're all done. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now these are going to go into a 400 degree oven. I'm going to first start off with about 30 minutes. My oven cooks things really hot, so I'm going to start out with 30 minutes and see what happens, and then I will show you when they're all done. Okay, so this took actually only 25 minutes. Um, I might, might have been able to take it out a little bit sooner, so I should only start it at 20 minutes and checked it at that point. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let this cool, cut it up into eight slices, which will be three smart points per slice. So I'm excited to try these scones. So thank you guys for watching another meal prep video. I have a playlist of all my meal preps down below. I have a over a hundred 
meal prep videos on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Subscribe if you have not already done so, and I'll see you guys next week for a full day of eating on Weight Watchers to Lose Weight.